Hey everyone, it's Maka from Inside Gaming with Seagate. And today we're going to take a look at how you can capture and stream your PC gameplay and what to keep in mind from a storage perspective. Let's get inside. Live streaming and capturing gameplay has gotten very popular over the last few years and there is no shortage of options when it comes to the hardware and software that you can use to help you produce the content. Windows 10 even has capture capability built in, allowing you to record your gameplay. Today's video will look at some of the most widely used software applications for streaming and capturing your gameplay. And it's good to note that streaming and capturing are two different processes. But with all the app options out there, you should definitely explore what's available to you given your needs and priorities. Both streaming and capturing put various stresses on different components of your machine, and both are affected by your PC's processor, RAM, network connection, graphics card, and of course, storage drives. Today, we'll focus on some of the most popular streaming applications, which will give you a fast and lag-free experience when coupled with one of Seagate's ultra-fast Fire CUDA NVMe SSDs. This video won't be a comprehensive overview on how to stream or how to capture, but we will give you a bird's eye view of the entire process and more specifically how to optimize your storage drives for your use cases. If you're wanting to broadcast your gameplay, you'll need two important pieces of software. The streaming app itself, which captures your gameplay and the distribution service, which broadcasts that stream to the outside world. Among the most popular streaming applications is OBS, which is a free open source app, which you can download and install onto your machine. Among the most popular stream distributors is Twitch, which for PC users is utilized via your web browser, no software to download there. Again, there are plenty of other alternatives for both of these applications, but as they are both heavily used in today's gaming market, we'll be using them here. Since Twitch is a broadcasting service for your streams, you'll need to create an account on Twitch.tv. OBS can integrate directly with Twitch via your stream key that Twitch will generate for you. So once you're up and running with both applications, your streaming can begin. But what if you don't care about live streaming your gameplay, but you do want to capture it and then save it as a video file? Maybe you want to edit it, add music, add voiceover, and publish it to YouTube. Most streaming applications, and OBS in particular, allow you to do both. Capture your content for a live stream and capture your content to a locally saved video file. Whatever you're planning to do, doing it on a fast SSD like a Fire CUDA NVMe can be the difference between efficient and glitch-free content and a complete bottleneck of data. The Fire CUDA 520 is a PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD that is up to nine times faster than a standard SATA SSD. So with process heavy applications like your game, your streaming application and your live broadcast all running at the same time, you could be maxing out your storage drives read and write speeds and setting yourself up for frustration. Similarly, if you're capturing large amounts of video content to your local drive for editing, you'll want a secondary drive to store that media. And since it's video, you'll want a drive with high capacity and fast transfer speeds like Seagate's Iron Wolf Pro, which has a 7200 RPM drive and is available in capacities up to 18 terabytes. If your PC tower has the physical room for it, you could go all out with a true professional's combination of three types of drives. First, a Fire CUDA 520, holding your operating system, your OBS streaming software, your webcam app, and whatever process-heavy game you're currently playing. In addition, your video editing and post-production software will benefit from faster storage, so you'll want those loaded up here as well. Then you could install a higher capacity SATA SSD, like the Fire CUDA 120, for media, games, and software apps, that don't necessarily need the speed of an NVMe SSD, but that you still want to perform with efficiency. Utilizing both the Fire CUDA 520 and the Fire CUDA 120 can give you up to six terabytes of fast solid state efficiency. 
And third, on top of the two SSDs, you could add a high capacity hard drive, like an eight or 12 terabyte Iron Wolf Pro for mass storage of your raw, unedited video media and for archiving your content. If you're using OBS to capture and record your streams, you can designate which drive to save the raw media files to. Your OBS software can be on your SSD, but your raw media can save to your higher capacity hard drive. In addition, we have other videos about the drive partition process. If you're a dedicated gamer wanting to optimize your gameplay and storage efficiency, be sure to check out our other videos. And don't be afraid to leave a comment with ideas for future topics. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.